going to talk more getting the scripture. Yes, sir. Amen. I remember mean, when Eric Kane's our church, he said, he's a Bible reader. He wanted Bible. That's it. <laughs> I don't put that in my Bible. <laughs> All right, praise the Lord. Let's go to Malachi chapter 3. Amen. Yes, sir. He will do it again. I don't know what you're facing. I don't know what you're going through. But one thing I know about Jesus, he is faithful. Yes, he is. He is faithful. Amen. He is, he, he, one thing about God, he's always done. The song says he's not there when you want it, but he's always on time. Always Amen. on time. That's the problem with us, though. He ain't there when we want it. Mm -hmm. That's our problem. We want things when we want it. Amen. I think about some of the blessings that I had. Amen. Some of the things, I, like, think about it. I knew I've been called to preach all my life. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it's only been a few opportunities that God has given me to actually preach in front of his people. Mm -hmm. Because he had to prepare me. That's it. Amen. He would have gave me a mic two years ago. I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. I got up here and stayed all the time. And the customer in my just out. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. When you try to get me, listen. When God Talk about has it, man. How to be spirit. Yes, sir. He has to train you up. Amen. Because when you're trying to be religious, amen, you're going to boo boo everywhere. Mm -hmm. You're going to boo boo everywhere. Everyone. Boo boo over there. Boo boo over there. Amen. Because you're trying to be something that you're not. That's it. But when he builds you up to be something, you know, you're in a thing. Mm -hmm. You're authentic now. Mm -hmm. Amen. I go places with my kids and my wife, and they see my family, and they say, what are y'all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, sir. Amen. That's who he is. Are you Christians? Yes, we're Christians. We believe in Jesus. That's it. Amen. The opportunity always presents itself mm -hmm. for me to tell them about the oneness of God. Mm -hmm. You know how glad I am to be saved? Yes, sir. I don't know about y'all, but I'm happy to be in a real thing. Yes, sir. Amen. Because I've been in a false thing for so long. Uh huh. For so long I heard about, you know, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. And for so long I, I heard about the traditions. Amen. Mm. But not, it, it took, it, 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 it's crazy because the traditions, amen, they sometimes will push you away from the God. Uh huh. They'll push you away because you, you'll be like, okay, well, traditionally you do this for this, but if you read it, you don't add up. That's it. Amen. That's it. That's it. Easter Bunny at Eddie Adder with Jesus to me. No, sir. Amen. <laughs> no, sir. You know, uh, the birth of Jesus don't add up with Christmas. Amen. No, sir. None of that stuff add up. No, it don't. Amen. From then, it pushes you and makes you doubt who God is. Mm -hmm. But God is so worthy. Mm -hmm. He's so good. And he says, you know what? Men they try to put their ideology down. Uh -huh. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it again. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm going to show you who I am again. Amen. Amen. I'm going to step down here in flesh and I'm going to commune with you. Yes, sir. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to intercede with you. I don't care if you're on a block, you're on a trap. God will come and visit you. Yes, no matter. Hallelujah. Amen. Visit them, Lord. He'll come and see about you. See about them, God. When everybody else change lanes and they go their separate way, my God. Amen. Ask me how many visits I had in prison. Mm -hmm. I mean, three. Mm. Amen. Three people came to see me. That's how it be. My baby mama, my mama, my grandma. That's how it be. Amen. That's it. That's how it be. But that's all I need. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus comes to see me every day. Oh my God. Amen. And the three people, they only came to three times. Oh yeah, because when they came, I started giving them Jesus. They didn't give <laughs> Jesus, so they stopped coming to see me. <laughs> Two hours just to hear me talk about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because what they say is, when you're in jail, it's your jailhouse. That's what they say. But now, I, I brought that faith. Hallelujah. My, my God. See, when they look at me now, when seven years later, it's like we want to talk. That boy was for real. Mm -hmm. That boy was serious. Mm -hmm. You see how I raised my kids? That boy was for real. And see, that's what we want to show y'all. That God is for real. That's it. Amen. Look at Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. Right it says, For I am the Lord, I change not. not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Don't y'all know that some of y'all have not been consumed just because God had to change? Hallelujah. Don't you know God was a wishy-washy God here one day, going next, that some of us will be consumed? Yes, sir. 
they got COVID-19 right now going on, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody got a mask on. Mm -hmm. They afraid of something they can't see. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. but they still being consumed. Mm -hmm. One by one, being consumed. Even with a they mask. They tell us don't go to church. Mm -hmm. Don't be in the house of the Lord. But we know better. Mm -hmm. If God was wishy-washy, don't you think we would have been consumed by now? Mm -hmm. But God has shown himself to be faithful. Faithful. He showed himself. Not one time have we lost the saint. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Pray before, hallelujah. Not one time has one saint died in touch of God the Bible way. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. They died in Walmart, though. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 But we in the house of the Lord God said, I have not changed. Hallelujah. I am the same today, tomorrow, and forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not no wishy-washy God. No, he ain't. He gonna do it. You facing trouble, you facing trials and tribulations, you think you going through something, God will do it for you. Mm -hmm. He will do it for you, but you got to believe you have to believe he who has ears, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the, the church. church. You have to believe what God is saying to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You gotta believe this thing. Don't just listen to it, but believe it. Live it. Let it be real. Because I promise you, when it becomes real, guess what? All doors are open up. Mm -hmm. Just open up. The devil gonna fight, but God just keep man, I mean, he just keeps showing himself so faithful. So faithful. Amen. Look at James verse 1 and 7. And I'm going to bounce around scriptures to let God use me. <coughs> I work overnight now, so my schedules is just all discombobulated. Sometimes when people are trying to reach out, like I don't see me on social media as much. <laughs> Because I don't got time for it no more. Yeah? I'll be. I'll be tired. <laughs> I'll be tired. But God is so he's so worthy because not be at my job preaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now listen, listen, you screen example. On my break, I'm giving you the gospel. Amen. Yes, sir. Because I know how, listen, what preaching does for me, it keeps me saved. That's it. It keeps me saved. That's it. Because guess what? You think I'm helping you, but I'm really helping myself. Amen. I'm really motivating myself. Well, ask, heaven. Me, well, why, ask me what I'm doing in bed. I'm just watching videos, watching old videos. Amen. Watching sermon, watching the pastor, watching some videos I done preached. So was the Jesus. Amen. And, I, and she said, what you doing? I said, I'm reminding myself who I am. Yes, sir. Amen. Because sometimes the life will, will, will make you forget who you are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you he will sit here and listen to the man of God for an hour, and then you'll go right back and tell all the Bible, and you'll forget everything. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he forget what man of man he was. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know how easy it is to forget you say? Talk about it. My God. Yes, sir. My God. You live in an environment. My last name Hood. Amen. I'm really from the hood. Hallelujah. Talk about it. Talk about it. And listen, it's been plenty of times I done seen my mama go to church, come in the hood, she forgot she was saved. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. I done seen my grandma do it, my brother do it. Amen. I done done it. Mm -hmm. So now, I used to ask myself, Lord, how do you do that? Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Mm -hmm. How do you come to church? And you worship, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. My God, he said about you. You do it all this. And then you just forget about that. Mm -hmm. When a dope man come around with a sack. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's, let's be real. We forget about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the thing that's true for the man is because God is saying, I want to get you here. Yes, sir. I want you, I want to get, I want you, I want to show you how serious I am about you. Hallelujah. I want you to know that I'm for real for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Listen, it's so many people that sit there and stand up for me. Uh -huh. I'm there for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Gang bangers, brothers, whoever, you name it, I'm there for you. Be real, but the only person that was ever there for me, you were real for me, was Jesus. That's it. Because when everybody else changed names, 
Jesus still with him. Still there. He still saying, go, go, son. Keep saying, it, son. Mm. Keep preaching, son. Keep going, son. Mm. Don't stop, son. I love you, son. They quit. I'm here, son. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the world gonna stop. Talk about it. My wife, right now, she she just better move. And it was days when in our church they had to help us because we was we didn't have we like we don't got no family in Orlando. Mm. It's just us. It's just me, my kids, just me. But I got a church family that loves me. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. They stopping by, putting your food every day. Amen. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got the mothers taking my kids to school. God showed you he is faithful. I thank God for a church family. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God because what happens is this. If they wouldn't have been there, I would have had to leave my job. Mm-hmm. Amen. Because I got to sit down. I got to provide for my wife. I got to take care of her. And sometimes us men, we think because you're going and you you going to work and you paying the bills to take care of something. Mm. But taking care of something sometimes means you got to be intimate. And it means more than just sex. What it means, intimate. And, okay, I'm helping do this. I'm washing the clothes. I got to get the kids dressed. I got a lot to do. Talk about it. I can't even pay a bill and write a check and then think that's it. But that's what a lot of us men do. We write that check so fast and we smoke it and get long. Mm-hmm. But she done cook, clean, laundry, everything. Yes, sir. Oh, well, you talking oh, heavy, man. Amen, amen. Preach, sir. Oh, I just, I just talk about, Lord, do it again. Do it again, Lord. Lord do it again. Yes, sir. Amen. Do it again, God. James 1, 17. It says, every good gift and perfect gift is from above and coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no bearableness, neither shadow of turning. Amen? Every good gift. Don't you know that ain't nothing good coming from Satan? Nothing. He ain't giving you nothing good. And guess what? And if it feels good, amen, it's just, it's, that's just a feeling. I always want to listen to my kids come here and tell you right now, one of the biggest things I always say, get out your feelings. <laughs> Amen. And me, you know me. I'm going to tell you, get out your feelings and put them in a what? A safe deposit box. Mm-hmm. Why I say that? Because your feelings will lead you away from what you was really true. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, you sir. You feel like it today. Yes. But that ain't how it really is. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I love women. I love my mama. I love my, my wife. I love everybody. I love women. But this position right here, amen, you will be your feelings. Mm-hmm. You will be your feelings. I know because my wife did her feelings watching me do it. What? And you mm-hmm. this for them? Mm-hmm. And this for them? That's how I be. The Bible says, you know, <laughs> says cause we got to, because in any time, like I even watch my pastor. I watch Overseer, and Overseer, he's just so humble that, you know, like, Overseer one of the greatest, like, even for here, I don't like Overseer, you want me to come to what I said, I don't know, and I got I to gotta check first. He was like, take care of your wife. My mm-hmm. wife said, come preach. So, I, oh, all right, <laughs> you know, go do it, go do the thing. But the truth of the matter is, he didn't say yes or no. Amen? So now, you know, you have to go see God. That's the type of preacher he is. Mm-hmm. Amen. He's going to give you that time to go see God's face. Because the truth of the matter is, some of us don't spend time with God. Like That's that. it. We're in church seven days a week. But you ain't really spending time with Jesus. Uh-huh. Talk about it. You're in church seven days a week just going through the motions. But I want this thing to be real for me. Because I don't want to be, amen, back where I used to be. I know who I was. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when you know who you was, it, may, it, 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 it should make you afraid to go back. That's right. Because them kids now, man, listen, them kids ain't fighting no more, y'all. No, sir. Listen, the kids out there skip, folks. Mm-hmm. In Orlando, we just had two teenage boys dead. Mm-hmm. They, they don't care nothing about who you claim to be or who you was or they don't care about none of that. They're trying to make a name for themselves. Mm-hmm. They're killing for it. Mm-hmm. I need to be in Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. I need to be in Jesus. Because the truth of the matter is, guess what? It's killed to be killed. That's it. 
It's a See, jungle out of the man is this too. The devil, he's trying to kill you for good. Mm -hmm. You know, when he was growing up, I, I hear a lot of people used to always say, quick, quick, quick story. Um, at my auntie's house, there was a pastor. He always came. They were pastor Fletcher. And we could all be playing the game and whatnot. And then when he see him coming, everybody run out the back door. Because they don't want to hear him preach to him for hours. <laughs> but me, the preacher, every time I try to run, I get caught. <laughs> I got to sit and listen to him. And I just listen because I always know not to be disrespectful. Right? So I thought about that. And then I used to ask, now, now when I'm saved, I ask people, why are you trying to do that? Why are you? I don't want to play with God. And then, in my head was, you don't want to play with God, but you want to play with the devil. That's, 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 he's trying to kill you. That's it, right there. You don't want to play with God, he's trying to save your life. Mm. But you want to play with the devil, he's trying to knock your whole head off. Uh-huh. Now, you know, it's, so, it's, it's crazy for that stinking thinking. Yes, sir. Amen. You got to change that stinking thinking. You know, in jail, they always say change people, places, things. Uh-huh. And to us, we like, man, they ain't no. You, it, you just gotta do what you're supposed to do, right? Mm -hmm. But I learned you can do what you want to do all you want. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you still hang around the same people, mm -hmm. listen to the same things, you will fail. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a fact. Listen, your mind can be made up. How many people that you know who, who want to go to the NFL train hard in the same hood? Everybody goes to the club, that same person he's not in the backyard training, but he's not in the club. Mm -hmm. So that bullet shoot, you know, listen. I can see a lot of guys die shot because they just want to hang out. And then, you know, you know how um in sports they say it's 90% mental, 10% physical. Because it really ain't about how fast you is, but it's about Mm. Amen. Amen. Some of the kids know how to be how to be good in sports, go home, <laughs> be obedient to their parents, and then and do that seven days a week. Mm -hmm. But some of us, we get the big head. Mm -hmm. We just scored a 75 yard touchdown this Friday. We don't know how to act on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Sunday. We really don't know how to act, but we think we're somebody because we see our, our, our name in the paper. Uh-huh. <laughs> Amen. Come Monday, we go to school, and we talk to the teacher any kind of way now, because we somebody. We know our name in the paper now. Mm-hmm. Come on. And then by and by, we scholarship, we miss that. Mm-hmm. Amen. Everything, it just, it just, it just start walking right by you. You know what I mean? The people that was in my neighborhood coming out of Fort Myers, um, Florida, that was good. I'm talking about good. But they ain't good no more. Mm -hmm. They ain't made it. I ain't made it. Why I ain't made it? Because I wasn't humble. Mm -hmm. I wasn't disciplined. But see, God gave me another gift. Hallelujah. He gave me another path. Mm -hmm. Amen. The preacher's word, because guess what? Sunday night, Sunday, Sunday football, you should say that's the last for that's the last for what? Five, ten years? Mm -hmm. What's you know the most you can play? Tom Brady, he, he over exceeded his limit. Mm -hmm. Right now he should be <laughs> he should be quitting any season now, amen? Mm -hmm. But the truth of the matter is this. This type of work right here, a lifetime. Lifetime. Amen. 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 A lifetime. I can I, I can do this until I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Amen. And set a stage for him to do it. That's it. Amen. Amen. For he will know who he is, what's his purpose. Amen. Sometimes we think our purpose is to do this, 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 this. I'm going to show you something. Revelation chapter 4. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is sometimes people don't know what their purpose is. Mm -hmm. They don't know. You think your purpose is the same. Yeah, you got a beautiful voice, but that ain't your purpose. <laughs> Amen. And your purpose is run track. Yeah, you fast. Ain't your purpose? Mm -hmm. Amen. God got a purpose for all of us. Yes, sir. Scripture says, "This says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for Thou hast created all things, 
and for thy pleasure, they are and were created. We were created to bring pleasure unto the Lord. Hallelujah. That's your purpose in life. To praise him and to worship. I'm designed Praying. to be here to glorify God. That's right. I wasn't designed to be no chapel. I wasn't designed to be no thug. I wasn't designed to be no football player, no basketball player. I was designed to worship Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Sometimes we forget what we were, what, what we what we came here for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some, sometimes you go places. It's like <clears throat> when we start the job the other day. I see a lot of guys start with me. And then about, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of work. You know, it's selecting, it's heavy, it's a lot of boxes, it's hard. Amen? It ain't no easy work. So why everybody don't get the job. Mm -hmm. But then, by the second day, people start forgetting what they're here for. Mm -hmm. First check, you know, it's all about your family. Yeah, but they fall off, man. The second check, you start to be about something else. Mm -hmm. Amen? The third check, Amen. Now your morals, your integrity are changed. Mm -hmm. Amen. But we got to have a home base to keep us grounded. Yes, sir. That's why you need a church home. To yes. keep you settled. To keep you grounded. For you will know not to, not to be moved away from every wind, every hope. Don't be moved away from the hope of the God. Yes, sir. Amen. Because situations and circumstances will move you. And you will be wishy-washy. Devil mind. Amen. God is faithful. Hallelujah. He's faithful. He always comes through. Put up um, Lamentations chapter 3. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22. He's always faithful. God always comes through. I think about that light pole. I was telling my wife in the way he I was like, babe, you know, we hit the light pole. I say, I Google how many people make it after hit the light pole. Not too many. Mm. Most people dead. But God was faithful. Amen. He loved me so much that have you ever seen a light pole ever to fall over? Sometimes. You need to come right through the car. That light like pole, pole fell over, y'all. Mm. Like the angel just said, this is my child, you know. Hallelujah. Amen. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. Oh, my God, he's worthy. He's so worthy. And, yes, it, and it's easy for us to get, um, you know, high-minded and forget his glory. Mm -hmm. It's so easy, you know, God will do something for you today and you'll forget about it just like that. A year go by, he blesses you, blesses you, blesses you, and you just forget it. That's why I say check his resume. Check his resume. Because when you write your resume for your job, you got every, every single accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Amen. You got every single certification, all that on that resume. Mm -hmm. We got to do God like that. I mean, the times when my daughter, when the light bust and he put the glass to it, hit my daughter, hit her right in the eye. But the angel just let it cut a lip. Mm, my God. My God. That's God. Well, my brother-in-law, amen, just got to a fight the other day. Dude took his head and smashed it to the glass of the, uh, the seven. I mean, what it was, the dollar store, amen. I thank God and man one of those flashes. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's right. The angel that was in the midst. The dude stabbed me. He was this close from hitting my piercing my abdomen. This close. But God. Hallelujah. Amen. Sometimes we got to go back and say, you know what, Lord? I thank you for what you did that day. Mm -hmm. Amen. The many times when the, when the, when the, when the, when the, when the police went to raid the block, and I was on the block doing wrong, <laughs> amen, selling drugs, getting high, doing what I wanted to do for my season, amen, I thank God the police ain't killed me. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. 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 As a matter of fact, it was, I think it was last year I had got on, on Facebook and I had to testify about that. Mm -hmm. Out of all the black men, I had to, listen, it's easy for us to say it is it, and it is that. Amen. But sometimes you got to be thankful your city ain't no black people getting mm -hmm. shot but for, for wrong for doing this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't get me wrong, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens, but I had to get on them and they had to acknowledge the fact that I know I've been wrong. Mm -hmm. I drove, amen, wrong, amen. Yes, sir. And I had to say, Lord, I thank you that you didn't let that police pull me over and shoot me and do me like you did that guy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Because, because guess what? We ain't exempt. That's it. I heard a prophet the other day say the only thing that separates us is when we cover under the blood. Mm -hmm. Went down in his name and cover under the blood. We are just like anybody else. My sin ain't no better than your sin. Your sin ain't no better. Listen, if I take off these garments to show you who I'm really you, come on, brother. Amen. Yes, yes. Sometimes we forget that. Jesus. The Lord, the Lord to clean you up. And then, and then you get a little holy and a little sanctified. Amen. And, and, and this is, you should have seen some of the saints because in my hallway, I stay downtown Orlando, right? So you know we got the, the stand one of the buildings. But it's, it's like you're still in the hood. You're still in the Paramore. You feel me? So when you walk down the, the, the hallway, you know, everybody, you know, it's nice. And then smell some cigarettes. And some of the saints be like, <laughs> like you know, they smoking. But we used to smoke. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes you gotta walk by people and don't walk by judgmental. Mm -hmm. Walk by with a spirit of love. That's it, and right? Understand it. Yes, because sir. You've been there. Yes, sir. Amen. When I seen the brother came in, that's why I love you so tight, my brother. Because you remind me of when I first walked in the church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. You remind, you remind me when I came off the streets. Hey Amen. It was a church, a church right around the corner. I used to walk there. When I got out of prison, I would walk in the church. I ain't care nothing about none of that. I would go to church. Yes, sir. Hey Amen. Sometimes we forget those humble beginnings. My kids right now being stuffed in this car. They don't know. <laughs> they don't remember the day when you had no car. Yes, sir. <laughs> I was walking with my baby across the street. I said, baby, come on, let's go to the store and get some ice cream. Yes, sir. Every day they used to love to go walk and get ice cream. Yes, sir. Amen. But since the told me that we they used to not have no car. Mm. Amen. So now they say walk. Mm-hmm. Mariah <laughs> <laughs> right, was like, ow. You know, she she like this. She pull everything. She, she just don't, she's not used to that. So I tell her, you have to remember. When we didn't have nothing. Uh-huh. Because when you never forget about it, whenever it's taken away from you, you'll be okay. Uh -huh. But if you forget, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't let me hit you. And you can SR 42. <laughs> Amen. Don't, don't mess around and let the funds run out. Amen. Uh -huh. And you don't forget uh -huh. where you came from. Uh -huh. Don't forget who you was, sister. Remember, because, listen, life going to change. And then it's going to take, take time. Like, say, for instance, I know for us, we go out in the streets to evangelize. A lot of saints stay back. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because they don't forget who they were. Mm -hmm. That's how they it. forget who I was. So I can go anywhere and tell people about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I ain't wishy-washy. So guess what? The same hood I smoked that, same hood I can preach at. Right. Yes, sir. Oh, Amen. 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 Praise God. But guess what? When you wish you watch the brother, can't do that. Oh, pastor say we going over what? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that. Listen, they stop like Kevin Hart. No, 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 no. I know you don't want to go. You don't want to go to mercy. Why not? Amen. I like the hood. I like to go to all the hood. No, none of them scare me. Amen. Amen. Because I believe in God. And I know he's real. And I know the same thing he did yesterday, he can do today. Yes. He ain't changing. Hallelujah. And I'm going to show y'all. Amen. And I want to just keep talking. So we're going to show you how.
and the redeem. Look at where was it? Uh, let's go to First Kings. I'm sorry. First Kings chapter 17. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Show you how he got it again. First Kings chapter 17. Verse 15. Can I get on somebody from read for me, please? Anybody? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. First King chapter 17, verse 13. <coughs> We're going to see how God, he never changed. And he does things over and over and over in Scripture. And these are only just two passages I'm going to show you. But it's multiple times when God did it over here and came back and did it over here. Uh -huh. Amen. Did it over here, came back. That's why when he does it, and you check his resume, you will know it's able to be done. Yes, sir. So when you go through the situation and it's like, oh, you know, don't, 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 you ain't never going to be afraid and say, well, God can't do that. Because scripture says nothing that's too hard for God. Uh -huh. Nothing. I told my wife, she's like, I don't think I'm going to be able to walk again. But she's not, she's already taking steps. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Nothing that's too hard for God. Amen. Hallelujah. If God did it over now, he can do it oh. over here. Yes, sir. Matter of fact, Elder Overseer got a thing where he says, if God did it here, it can happen today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and that's why we have to believe his word. Because everybody that go to church don't believe in the word. That's it. Amen. Listen, everybody that go to church do not believe his word. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem. That's what stagnates us sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because you can have faith as big as, as small as a must see to move mountains. Mm -hmm. But that one person, that's why sometimes you see a prophet, he'll clear out the room. That's if he's it. Really trying to get something done, he'll say, everybody get out. Mm -hmm. Because everybody's faith ain't done. Mm -hmm. but, we wanna, but today, we want to check his resume. So everybody had that same type of faith. Amen? Yes, sir. Everybody can leave here and you believe that if God did it for me, no book here on the block, he can get it to me. Yes, sir. Amen? Little TJ. Amen? Little, 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 little Tudu and Doodoo. <laughs> Amen? They can get it too. Yes, sir. They can get baptized in his name. Yes, sir. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, bro. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not, and go to as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first, and bring it unto me, and after make for thee and for thy son. Mm -hmm. Keep going. For thus said the Lord, God of Israel, the bearer of meal shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil fail, until the day that the Lord sendeth rain upon the earth. Amen. Keep going. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house did eat many days. Wait a minute. So the prophet told her, go cook for me. Cook for me first. Then cook for you and your son. And guess what? And the scripture said she did. She did. And the scripture said that the bear didn't waste. Meaning she had more than what she thought she had. Mm -hmm. She was good. Amen. Now we know it today, 2021. And these women got, they last hundred dollars on food stamps. Amen. Mm -hmm. Tell them to go cook for the church first. Some people are gonna hesitate. My God, boy, that's a, you know they say that's a hard saying. That's, <laughs> that's a hard that's saying. That's a hard <laughs> saying, no, Pastor. Mm -hmm. it, it's hard because people thinking about their kids. Mm -hmm. Yes, but sir. You got to stop thinking about these kids because guess what? God think about these kids too. Mm -hmm. And got them. Amen. And see, we're, we're so happy we're so used to being in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what happens because in the world, you give somebody this for that and then they'll never come back to that. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God changes all that when you step inside this ring. Hallelujah. Because what somebody thought they got away with God still, he's still in the midst. Mm -hmm. He still, it's in the time, well, I done did jobs for people, and they'll drive off and don't pay me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then I get a call the next day. Hey, son, I got something for you. Mm -hmm. Pull up. 
Can make somebody a blessing. Mm -hmm. God, He's in the business of blessing. Yes, sir. He's not in the business of taking from yes, you. Yes, sir. So even when us, if we rightfully or wrongfully take something from you, or it feels like we're taking something from you, because we ain't taking nothing from you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But if it feels and seems like that, just know that God, He will provide. Yes, sir. He will provide. Mm -hmm. He will make a way. Now, now let's go over here to second. Second Kings chapter 4. And watch the same thing happen. Because God, he's in the, he's in the business, amen, of testing you and trying your faith too. Uh -huh. See, don't come over here talking about what you want to do, what you're going to do. Because I'm going to put you in a position to do that what you say you want to do. Amen. amen. Listen, for me, when I start to feel the urge to preach, I start rapping and everything. That's it. I start doing all no Christian hip hop, all that stuff, all that. Cut it out. Mm. And I just start searching the scripture. And don't get me wrong, it was times where I was itching to get on the stage because it was calling me. And it was paying me. And I wanted to get on that stage to rap. Mm -hmm. I told my pastor, I said, Pastor, I don't got no job right now. I said, should I take the call? He said, let, sure. let God use you know, over there. Right? No, talk to God about it. I knew that was a no. <laughs> Amen. God already said no. But my flesh wanted to go. Mm -hmm. But what you have to do is you have to humble yourself. It's for me to God. Mm -hmm. And trust Him. Amen. The Bible says, trust the Lord. Read what it says, brother. Verse 1. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, thy husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bonded. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what's, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow, go borrow these vessels abroad of all thy neighbors. Even empty vessels, borrow it not a fruit, not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. And she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, and brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And it came to pass when the vessel was full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more. And the oil stayed. And she came and told the man of God. And he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay thy debt. And live thou in thy children of the rest. Amen. Amen. Same exact situation. Yes, sir. He did it again. And God did it again. Yes, sir. God is faithful. Hey, hey, my kid. My kid. David. God did it again. Um, another thing the Lord showed me, amen, when raising my kids and, 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 and being a minister, a minister, amen, is learning how to minister to them. That's it. And teaching me how to minister to y'all. Amen. Because each and every one of them are different. That's Some right. of them, you can tell, hey. And then, she two years old, she won't hear that. <laughs> she ain't gonna hear that. Mm -hmm. You gotta go down there and actually show her your presence. Mm -hmm. We like that with God. Amen. Amen. God is speak to, to us through the pulpit sometimes, and some of us are listening. But then, if some of us are here, then God gotta step down. He got to step down and show you who he is. I think about these women with this war. God had to do the same thing for them. He had to come down and make himself known to them. And he did it just by what they, what they cherished the most was their food, pretty much. Uh -huh. Feeding their family, being able to provide for their kids. They, that, see, for some women, they don't care about the cars, they don't care about the house. 
they care about the kids eating. Mm -hmm. But for some women, they want material things, you know, blah, 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 right? But the thing is, what's in your heart? Amen? Because God, he, he will touch that what's in your heart. Amen? If he's trying to get your attention, I think for me, um, with the rapping thing, that was something that was in my heart. Many years, I knew that I started to feel like I'm glorifying myself. Uh -huh. This thing glorifies me, you know, I'm glorify God. As much as I point to Jesus, the people point to me. Uh -huh. Amen? And I, and I started to know it to be wrong. But my flesh didn't want to let it go, you know? uh -huh. My flesh, my flesh seen that money, seen the travel, you know, we going here, we going there. Amen. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to let it go. But now I've learned that some things you gotta let go if you want to go higher than God. That's right. You want to go higher than God, let it go. Uh -huh. Whatever that issue, whatever that thing may be, let it go. And watch God move for you. He'll show up and show up. It's some things that we cherish so hard. I don't know why the Lord have not said it, but it's some things that we hold on to. We hold so tight to. And don't you know when you let it go, that thing ain't going to mean nothing to you no more. Hallelujah. When you let, you let that go for God, and you show me how much it means to you. Lady. Amen. Amen. It's, it's some things like me. Selling drugs, that was hard to let go. Yes, sir. But I had the mindset that I was doing it to provide. Amen. But then God showed me you doing this to provide for a woman that don't even love you. Mm. That same woman, when I went to jail, she changed lanes. That's how it be. That same woman, when I, listen, she didn't want, listen, you work 40 hours a week. This woman here love me for the four hour love work. That's I'm it. I'm talking about, yo, I don't got to go hustle. I don't got to do nothing but just go do my job, come home. She loved me. That's it. But when a woman wants you to go out there and jeopardize your freedom, that's not love. That's not love. It's not love. And that's the problem with us. Sometimes we don't know who love is. Mm -hmm. That's what us ministers here do. I'm here to remind you who love is. Love is unconditional. Jesus is love. Hallelujah. I, I used to tell, I tell women now, I hey, you know Jesus. No. What do you say? You love me. How do you love me when you don't even know who love is? Mm -hmm. Jesus is love. Mm -hmm. But see, that's the thing that we don't teach in society. So now they think love is lust and lust is love. Mm -hmm. But lust ain't never got on the cross and died for you. No, sir. But love did that. Mm -hmm. Unselfish. Unselfish. Love did that. Love intercedes for us. Amen. And you, when you, when we get to the point we're willing to let go for love, my God, let it all go, and then let love have its way. My God. Oh God, we'll be in a beautiful place. That's how much you love us. God, He has never forgotten about you. Isaiah 49, verse 14. He's never forgotten about you. See, I, I there's a lot of people who forgot about me in life. But God wasn't one of them. Amen. 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 And I know y'all can say the same thing. It's from people who forgot about you. But God was not one of them. Amen. 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 People forget about you every day. Amen. I, I was listening um, to a song a few years ago. Um, and Trick Daddy, he said the same thing. He forgot about you. Mm. Amen. As much as he did, and he tried to do, amen. <laughs> in, in a little, you know, in Miami, you know, um, Trick Daddy Dog, he tried to do a lot for the city. But they still forgot about it. Mm -hmm. That's how we is. You go when you get hit then you go tomorrow. Yes, sir. Amen. People forget about you in the blink of an eye. But watch this. God ain't forgetting about none of you. Amen. 
Isaiah 49, verse 15. What does it say, bro? But Zion said, The Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her sucking child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget. Yet I will not forget thee. I will not well, forget God said, thee. I will not, I will not, forget, I will not forget, thee. forget thee. I will not forget thee. That's right. Now, don't you know that? Listen, don't you know it's a woman out here who can forget? Her own child, but God said, "I ain't gonna forget this." Hallelujah. My God, yes, everybody gets it. That's the, that's the way you should stop because God said, "I'm not gonna forget you. I don't care what you're going through. I will forget you." Hallelujah. Amen. In foster care, amen. I got six siblings. We just been all over through the system. My mama forgot about me. Amen. I have been forgotten about. But now when I read these scriptures, I thank God and I praise him because I know he has never forgotten me. Yes, sir. Amen. He has not forgotten my siblings. He has not forgotten my children. Hallelujah. And then he forgot y'all. God has not forgotten about us. Thank you, Lord. So many places you can be and be forgotten about. Amen. You know how many churches you could have went to, amen, and I could have gone to car accident and forgotten about me. Mm -hmm. You were in the right place. We ain't gonna forget about you. Mr. Sunday, Sunday you. Mm -hmm. We come to sleep about you. Mm -hmm. Amen. This, this, this two weeks here, we wanna know where you've been at. Yes, sir. How you doing? Because we serve a God who teaches us how to be intimate and intentional. Oh, let's forget about you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God is the provider. Amen. When we don't even need to go to the scripture. Amen. You can see what he provided for you in COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Amen. He has been provided. Amen. If you were here today, he provided. Yes, sir. If you're breathing, he provided. You ate this morning. He provided. Yes, sir. Amen. So many times, we, like I said, we get so used to talking about what we ain't got. Let's talk about what we do now. Yes, sir. Amen. We got a real apostle in it. Yes, sir. Some people ain't got that. Yes, sir. Amen. We got real men of God. Amen. That's first the scripture. Some people ain't got that. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You go through situations and, and, and stuff happening in your life, and then you got a false, something false trying to help you find a remedy. Mm -hmm. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. But when you got the real thing, you can be glad. And you can be thankful. Yes, sir. Amen. And you have a praise in the inside. Because you know I got the real thing. Hallelujah. Amen. You got the real thing. I, I imagine, amen, if me and my wife went through what we went through back in my old church. We be going through hell, Christmas. Mm -hmm. They weren't coming to be us. They will come and take care of us. Amen. But when you connect it to the real thing, they want to know. They want to see. They want to hear. Amen. That blessed me so much to see my sisters and my brothers every day calling me. The kids ate. Mm -hmm. Amen. I get off of work and I see food in my house. Amen. Because my sisters and my brothers in Christ. God is good. Amen. He's a provider. Yes, he is. You got to know that. You got to believe that. You got to let that be embedded in you. So when the devil try to use his manipulation to talk to you and tell you what God not and what he can't do and what he ain't, amen, you can check his resume. Mm -hmm. And you know that God is worthy. Hallelujah. You can check his resume. You know he is a provider. Yes, sir. Sometimes what happens is it's so it, and it's sad because we we lie to double the tongue us right about a blessing. Mm hmm Talk you right about your season. He almost told me, listen, this situation, I almost went into a slump. Mm -hmm. Amen. My wife will tell you, I almost went into a slump. When my blessing was right in the door. Hallelujah. But then, that woman 
for right now? She is truly a blessing. Y'all give my wife a hand of blessing. Amen. Amen. She is truly a blessing. Because what you hear coming from me, she prayed for. Yes, sir. Amen. What you hear coming from me, she loved this. Mm. When it wasn't this. That's Amen. It. Amen. I remember I testified. Amen. Doing street ministry. I remember three days. Ain't babe, ain't eat. Out there in the streets, run the street, run the street, run the street. That woman on her knees praying. Hallelujah. Believing that her husband was going to be the man of God that God called him to be. Amen. Amen. Believing in you. So, let's see, that's another thing that we have to do. You believe still. Mm. Amen. Because God can do something for you, but you got to believe in it. Amen. I give you a hundred dollars. You believe it because you see me do it. Mm. But if I sell me, give you a hundred dollars. So different. You, 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 you gotta believe that. <laughs> yes, sir. But you ain't got it right now. Mm -hmm. But you gotta believe that. Is he gonna give it to me? You gonna be asking yourself if he's gonna give it? See, that's a hundred dollars. But what about his salvation? His his word, his maturity. God said, I'm gonna give you something. Amen. I want to give you something. Do you believe? Thank you, Jesus. He's a provider. He will do it again. Revelations 22, verse 17. I really appreciate y'all inviting me out today. Amen. Because, um, you know, me and my family, we needed this. You know, last night, I came home and I had a day off. I'm like, man, you know what? I'm really going to try to get these kids out of the house. They've been in the house for two months. And we couldn't find the keys at all. I'm talking about nine o'clock at night. We finally found it. God didn't want us to get out and try to mingle and be in the streets. They know what was going to happen. You know, you want to go have fun and go here and do this and spend money. But the Lord said, no, nah, the first place you're going to go when you go out, Church. go be in the house of the Lord. That's it, right there. That's Amen. Go be in the house of the Lord. And this is when we woke up, it was the first time we did it. Them kids are telling me, they ain't been nowhere. <laughs> they been in the house, in church. Mm -hmm. They've been out a couple of hours with their aunties, but that's about it. Probably the stone piece or something like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. But my wife, she ain't even know her. She's been in the house. But God, He's so real. Hallelujah. And, it, and it's a blessing to be with y'all today. Yes. It's a blessing to be able to share and praise our King together. Amen. Amen. I don't want to be nowhere else. That's it. Revelation 22 17. The scripture says, Read it, brother. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him that hear us say, Come. And let him that are thirst. Come, and whosoever, he, whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. God wants to do it again for you spiritually. Mm -hmm. And he's saying, come. Come drink. Amen. Anybody that's thirsty, come drink. Come drink. Come get some of this. If you don't know what we know spiritually, come get it today. Amen. God wants to do it for you. Amen. God wants to feel you. Amen. It's, it's crazy because the thing is, we, 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 we read the scripture, the Bible says, then Peter said to them, repent and be baptized in Jesus' name. But the, the thing that I love the most, and he said, and they will feel. Yes, sir. That's what I love the most. Amen. The water part, you know, that was cold. Amen. That water was cold. And I went down like a chip. Amen. Jesus' name. Hallelujah. What? Being filled. Yes, sir. My God. Being filled with the Holy Ghost. That does. That would change me. Amen. That that does. That's what make me get up and say, Lord Jesus. Because now I feel him. Amen. And and, and that's and that's something that I take, I take out the same deposit box. I'm gonna let y'all know. That feeling, I'm gonna put that in the same deposit box. I mean, I in the whole world see that feeling. Because that feeling don't lead me wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Holy Ghost, he don't lead me wrong. I can take that feeling out and say the by the box. He go everywhere with me. Now all the other feelings, that negative feeling, that depression feeling, put that in the box. That hungry feeling. Yeah. Amen. We put all that in the box. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. But the spirit of the Holy Ghost. I'll take that out. Come on, get to that by your state. That spirit right there, you need that. Yes, sir. Hold that. Keep it. Show it. Take it with Take it, show and tell. Take it everywhere you go. You need that one. Because that's the spirit that's going to keep you alive. Yeah, that's right. That spirit is up. Oh, man, it's nothing else. Nothing else. That, 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 and I have, listen, and, and we know as human beings, it's some things that feel good. Mm -hmm. Not like that. Mm -hmm. Not like the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Amen. Not like the Holy Ghost. My Amen. wife don't feel like the Holy Ghost. Amen. The Holy Ghost, listen, it's some time when I feel so broken and he just ministers to me and I just sit in the altar and cry. Yes, sir. I was sitting there and I just weep like a little boy, 32 years old. And I just sit there and cry because he's worthy. There was times, amen, I went to the temple and I first came to Bible way. And the apostle would be preaching, and I'm, and I'm in like the first two minutes of him preaching, I knew I ain't never want to leave this place. Uh -huh. I knew, I said, man, listen, I never heard nobody speak like this. And I've been around the Bible a long time. I just seen the Miles Monroe's. I just seen some Bob preachers. But by far, you hear me, El? By far, Pastor Cow, the real thing. Uh -huh. The real thing. Uh -huh. Overseer, the real thing. Bishop Otto, the real thing, baby. You know why? Because they're intimate. Joshua chapter 2. Uh, Joshua chapter 3. 
with this? Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, Joshua chapter 3. Yes, sir. Praise you, man. God, he's a way maker. And he will make a way out of no way. Yes, sir. The people told me, that judge told me when he standing that ground down, I seen you for 30 years. You will never see the streets again. But he didn't know I served God. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know I served God that was good. Yes, sir. Amen. But the sad part about it, I didn't even know God then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even know who Jesus was. Mm -hmm. I was an infidel. Mm -hmm. God, I didn't even know him. But God knew me. That's it, right there. Deal with See, it. See, sometimes it ain't about you knowing him. It's about that he knows you. Mm -hmm. He said, I can count every hair. I can number every hair in your head. He knows us. Deal with it. Amen. Yes, I love my wife, but I bet you I can't count every dress she got. Mm -mm. <laughs> God loves her so much, he count every one of them. Yes, sir. And how many hair going to the dress? Yes, sir. Listen, that's a good job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's nothing that God can't do. If he did it in him, he can do it to you. Yes, sir. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. And if you and if you are doubting his glory, you can doubt him how worthy he is, just use me. Look at me. The way I've been through in 2020, 21. Amen. And you see me still standing. Mm -hmm. You see me still worshiping. You see me still going by. You see me. Listen, it's a day I don't feel. I don't know. And if, and I know if I'm going through it, look at your pastor. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because his fight works for mine. So if I'm going through, y'all see me. I cry about mine. I, amen. I might get on Facebook and cry. Amen. But if I'm going through it, man, so what are you going through? An apostle, and guess what? They still praise the Lord with a smile on their face. Amen. With a smile on their face. Because the Bible tells us to endure hardness as a good soldier. As a good soldier. And I think that's another thing the Holy Spirit wanted me to say today. Understand that we are called to suffer with Him. So why God is doing it again for you? Be able to praise him in your suffering. Yes, sir. Amen. In your suffering. Be able to suffer with him. Because he's watching how you suffer for him. Hallelujah. That's right. So many times I'm watching my wife rehab. And she got a rehab. I'm going to work. <laughs> Amen. I'm leaving in the house. And she 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 really wanna cry. And last shot. Why? You got to do this and do this. But, but truth be God was testing her. And she started to understand that guess what? I got to suffer for Christ. Uh -huh. You think that leg compared to anything God went through for us? Scripture say he was beat with cattails. You know what cattails is? like a claw that somebody sharp and they get on it and grab a piece of meat and snatch it. Uh -huh. Cattails. When somebody 
might hit you with a cat tail today. He go, ah! I know I am. Mm -hmm. I'm, listen, I'm, I ain't gonna turn the other cheek. I ain't gonna lie. I won't be that step. I'm gonna have to come here and repeat. You hit me with a cat tail. But she just got a cat tail. Thank you for having me. Amen.